You know, with a time change, it doesn't feel as bad. Because we technically gain an hour of sleep. No, we lost an hour of sleep. No. No. Yes. It's it's fall. So fall the back. hour fall. Fall back an hour. Okay, so when it hits 2 a.m. No, 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 when no. it's midnight, it's 1 a.m. Yes. Yeah, does that have it backwards? Yes. So when it, no, it changes at 2 a.m. So when it hits 2 a.m., it goes back to 1 a.m. So then you reset 1 a.m. and you get an extra hour. Break the car today? I don't. There's just a possibility. I don't think it's gonna happen, but I definitely think it could happen. We have a three o'clock, dude. Right, it's like a ramp. Do we do it? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> hey, sir. Make sure you only put in, uh, the highest premium of the of the gas in in this car, okay? I was gonna put 87. What? No. <laughs> Look at this chash boy. Look at him. Ooh, I'm gonna clean the windshield. This our brother's got the right idea over there with the M3. Hey, hey, no, hey, hey, no, 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 no! I don't got cash for you. I don't have cash. <laughs> yeah, come on, man, dude. Look at look at this man. He does. You're a full window sweeper. You don't do the half and half. You don't divide it in half. Are you supposed to divide it in half? I mean, I feel like the normal person divides a window in half. Oh, I didn't do that. You're a full window sweeper. Yeah. Like always? Always. Never done it any differently. No, oh, there's a fun fact for you there. Kevin and I just drove up to Willow Springs today. It's about a three hour road trip. We've been on the road since 5 a.m. It's just now hitting 8 a.m. in the morning. Today's gonna be very special because, as some of you guys know, my good friend Dustin Williams has recently got into time attack and driving a lot more, grip driving, and he's been going to the track a lot. I told him, hey, there's a track there at Willow Springs. I'm gonna bring my R8. You should bring your GTR so I can beat you and do a better time in my R8. They're actually very similar in power. We both make about the 600 horsepower mark, both all-wheel drive. We both have the DCT. They are pretty close in cars. The only thing, hopefully, is the drivers is what's gonna different, differentiate the times. So we're racing Dustin for pinks today. Kevin, I didn't tell you. Oh, but you're gonna have to drive I home. get a GTR? You're gonna have to drive home a GTR once we win. Oh, hell. Good, good, good. Have fun it. Nice. Let's go, Teach. So I just snuck onto the intermediate session and maybe you might regret it now, but Dutt and I are in the advanced session and I'm only there because I have a car that can keep up with it, but Dustin isn't doing a lot of track yeah. driving. But this is a car that doesn't, doesn't drive on track too much. Give Ever. us a car check. Never. Give us car, a car check. Car check here. We have the Varus kit. I am extreme, I'm terrified to do this. So I have the Varus kit. I have big, heavy work wheels, but I have full bolt-ons and the car makes 700. We do have some grippy boys. We have like the, the secondary grippy boys, the Yokohama apex tires which will be okay for today but i'm pretty scared this car doesn't have an alignment so it doesn't alignment's <laughs> off so you don't have an alignment on it? nope Come so on. that's how i'm driving see ya so what, are you scared you're gonna lose your front bumper on something i'm i'm afraid of losing the front bumper the car's squirrely like i could have beefier tires but i'm just gonna send it this isn't dutt's track car but when i said yo it was a track day today i was like i'm taking my r8 you should take the gtr this is the only car that he had available at the time well you have you have the s2 but that's it's a not ready trailer yeah. and next dust has had six Sitting around, I'm like, let's send it. And I think he was a little nervous to drive it out. We're gonna send it, baby. Let's I'm go. glad we did it. Yeah, so that was giving me a little bit of pointers on that track. We're doing the Big Willow track, and it's a very, very fast track, big track. I think the top speed we get to on this back straight is about 150. I'm just scared to fly off track because I don't really know this car at all. So I got we'll, a little instruction, we'll teach you. and we'll then teach you. I'll try to follow you when we do our yeah. advance. But I know you'll probably lose me. It's just being confident. That's what I had a hard time with: is knowing that I can keep going and trust the car. This is a sick ass card. So trust the car and you'll be fine. This is the first uh, advanced session that we're going out for. And right now the first two laps is warm up. So we're gonna follow Dutt to see his line. And once the tires get warm, we'll send it, yeah? Yeah, we'll keep up and we'll take his car after.
Thank you so much to Vessi for partnering with us for today's video. The Vessi shoe is a shoe that can literally do it all. It's 100% waterproof, sandproof, slush proof, and slip proof. It's also lightweight, breathable. They're made from a 100% dual climate knit material. It not only makes the shoe comfortable, but breathable, and it allows you to be breathable during the summer and keep your feet warm in the winter. The Vessi shoe comes in a couple different color options, but what makes this shoe one of my favorite shoes I've ever had is the fact that it allows me to do everything with one pair. These shoes allow me to dress them up when I want to or use them for hiking or even just casual wear. Because these shoes have so many everyday purposes, it's a great addition to your closet. And you guys know me with my shoes and this definitely feels a niche that I haven't had with any of my shoes. With some of the shoes I've had in the past only really do one thing really well, whereas the Vesta shoe does it all. These shoes are so waterproof. Now when you put the shoe under running water with my hand in the shoe, when I take my hand out, it's completely dry. They have an incredible early Black Friday offer right now, so grab yourself a pair for the rainy season while they still have sizes and you can thank me later. Check them out in the link below. And if you miss a Black Friday sale, use my code TJHunt to get $25 off your Bessie shoes. The shoes are comfortable, lightweight, waterproof, and affordable. So act now, use the code on screen, and save up to 25 bucks off of your shoes. Thank you so much to Bessie for partnering with us for today's video, and now let's get back to it. So we just did our second session and we got yelled at for having the camera in the car so we didn't really get too many clips. I definitely, I'll put the GoPro up on the next one. What today's theme is, the car does not make you a better driver. <laughs> Stock BRZ. <laughs> you mean S2K? Yeah, but I mean that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that BRZ destroyed me. He put me to bed and gave me a little bottle. But it's fun, so like, but but you know, driving from a 350Z to an R8, it's crazy the spectrum that we get to try out, you know? No, yeah, I mean, today's just extremely fun, and, but it's just, it's amazing to see all these other cars that cost a 20th a of the price yeah. that have the proper mods Set for up. the track, and they're just like, yeah. Like, this thing is so bumpy, I'm just getting tossed around, and Dutt said the same thing. Yeah, I mean, you can probably see it in my GoPro, I'll probably. <laughs> <laughs> so we're switching up, we're gonna go from advanced to intermediate, and we ran into a couple people that some people might be familiar with. We're trying to get Jonah set up with the helmet right now. Helmet fit. Yeah, he's gonna use Kevin's helmet. Kevin's helmet is really small, because it's I Calvin's helmet. Head, Wait, let me see if Edwin has an extra one. He might, Jonah. maybe. What do you do? He's looking for a helmet and he doesn't have one. You so know, we're, we're I, either gonna borrow yours. I offered him a helmet, you know, my head's pretty big. We'll see if, it, if, if he can swing it. If he can, I think he's going out. Helmet, fit, check. That's <laughs> what I fit, bro. I don't know. It already looks kind of small. It might. Smash it down. Oh! oh <laughs> can you put okay. the visor up? How uncomfortable is that? Yeah, it's a small as all. I'm, oh. I'm gonna have a panic attack. All right. I told you I got a big ass head, bro. <laughs> Kevin's got a big head, too. I, I thought you might be okay. My head's pretty fucking big, dude. <laughs>
we just went out for a quick rip. Heath has an Uricon, and as you guys always hear me say, this is like a half off Uricon. It's like a cheap man's Uricon. And we're looking at, whoa, that's how that the spider so opens? It's, yeah, it's busy. Wow. But he was just showing us how the, the rear it. bumper yeah. warped and melted the back of his bumper. You can't. You can kind of can't really see like it on come camera. Back, you can no, see like no, right here. The, it, do it from the angle. It's like got some weird <laughs> dents going in it. Oh, yep, there it is. It's Handle. morphing to the exhaust. Is she curvy like me? That's all. Dude, she's hot. Goodbye, boys. Later, brother. See ya. See you soon. All right, so your water. What'd you get, Jum? Your water. Yeah. Some Galaxy Galatinos. Oh, my dude. Some salsa verde. Oh. Um, oh, some strawberries. Oh. I got you a little. One bar? Oh. No, no, that's that's for you. And I wanted to try the sharp cheddar. Oh. Kevin and I are making our road trip home. It was a pretty short track day because as you guys will probably see a little bit in the vlogs in the future, Sabrina and I are actually looking at a new house right now. So we have to get back and do some of that stuff. Would you knock it off, bud? I, the snacks are really loud. Dude, look at that competition. Oh! That's what I want. That was the guy that was on track that was like blowing me out of the water. That guy was wheeling it. But dude, the R8 held up really good on track. I really enjoyed it. You know, it is stock, so the suspension is all over the place. And I'm not a professional driver, so I, you know, I wasn't doing the best track times, but I had so much fun. It was a blast. Shout out to Edmund, because he's the one who threw on the event. But he was so busy, I couldn't really talk to him too much. But Kevin and I got to meet Jonah and Heath and their buddy Reed, which were really awesome. And for those of you who watch any of the Vlog Squad's content, you know who they are. And we're filming a video with them next Next week that I'm really excited about doing so really cool to meet them I'm gonna link all their channels down below if you haven't watched them guys check them out they're really cool guys we are about three hours away from where we need to be and we need to be there in about two hours and 45 minutes which means we're gonna have to step on it you, are, you can't start with this that burst oh dude the strawberries or something else you've got watermelon but come on Dude, I'm a watermelon type of guy, but these strawberries are really good. Strawberries are pretty good. All right, boys, so it's been a few hours since you guys have last seen me. It's been almost, actually, it's been almost four or five hours since I picked up the vlog. And as I kind of said earlier in the video, this isn't something that I want to talk about too much right now, and I'll explain for that in just a little bit, but Sabrina and I just got back from looking at a new house. A new potential human household? A new house that it's not ours yet. It's not ours yet. But, but we're making an offer. Very close. We're making an offer on the house tomorrow. I posted a few little random pictures on my Instagram. Serena and I um, both have decided this. We want this 100% to be our next house. And I'll get more into more about the house and like the land that it's on and just everything. Because as you kind of saw in the Instagram, if you follow my Instagram, it's like literally it's insane. I can't believe like it's an actual house that we're getting ready to buy. Here's a little yeah. I, Show you a mini sneak peek. A four car garage. So these doors open all the way up and tuck into the wall. Another fireplace, another TV, they all look the same. It's a huge master bath, three more bedrooms. Each bedroom is a full bath in the garage, which we will continue the garage walkthrough. And it is an infinity pool. We were with the builder today and the realtor today. I think we came to a deal. Now, in the world of households, you have to get pre-approved for your loan, which we are ready to go for the house. And then we put together the offer for the house and then either they accept it or they try to ask for a little bit more or we're potentially talking about building more onto the house and building more custom features onto the house that we have to work into the deal. But I don't want to say anything because 100% confirmed at the moment. But who knows, by the time this video goes out, we might have actually like so, like by bought the, the house. Yeah, out, by the time this right? video is out, like we could have actually like on Instagram, I could, talk, I could be talking about how we've actually purchased it if everything goes well. But fingers crossed, the deal goes through. We are so ecstatic. I don't want to get my hopes up. If you haven't subscribed, the next six months, are gonna be insane type of content that I'm so excited about. And the house will be finished in three weeks, which means you'd be able to move in and spend Christmas at the new house, which is like- Can we get two Christmas trees? 
which is like, we need two Christmas trees. The house is so big, we literally need two trees. The place we're in right now is amazing, we love it. This is a townhome, this is a home. We purchased this house and a lot of people think that we're like, this is an apartment or we're renting an apartment. It's not, this is a townhome and this place was a stepping stone to the next place and we've been saving and saving and saving and I never wanted to rush into anything and I wanted to have something that was on so much land that I could do whatever I wanted and was in the right area and there's a lot of things that we've been saving and holding off and we think, we think we're ready. Very, very exciting. I don't want to get too into it because like I said, if it falls through, I'll be so upset. But keep our fingers crossed that it doesn't. We had an amazing time at the track. It was great. We have some pretty cool upcoming videos this week with some new friends that we made today, which I'm really excited about. And all in all, it was a fantastic day. The R8 is an amazing car. That was almost like a test too, because the R8, we just rebuilt it. You guys didn't see that it's a salvage title. There's a lot of that car that I thought was 100% ready to go. And today confirmed that, yep, that car is put back together. We did 150, hot lapped it like crazy, had no issues. We were good. So the car was 100%. I know it's solid and there's no spots that we miss or something we left loose or anything like that which is pretty cool <sighs> fantastic day super super exciting day I wish I could show you guys more of the house process but until it's actually ours I decided to kind of keep it a little under wrap I spoiled it a little bit with some pictures on Instagram but that's because I couldn't help it because guys this is the coolest house in the whole entire world hit that oh I, can't, I don't talk about it anyways if you haven't already hit that subscribe button you guys have been super active in the past videos and you guys have been watching the videos and the channel is doing so well so I just want to say thank you for that it, it means the world and I'm glad you guys spend 20 to 30 minutes every other day with me and I'm honored to share my life with you guys you have any Anything to say, buddy? Okay. Backyard. What? New backyard, yay! Oh, Sabrina said new backyard. Yeah, Kona, you might have five acres of backyard play. Can you believe that? Peace out and keep moving forward.